Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm in Budapest and this is Margit Bridge and I'm gonna cross that whole entire bridge and it kind of is an interesting bridge so instead of just going from one side to the other side it um, it has a little jaunt in the middle because there's an island I know an island really an island let's go look at it um, so that's the bridge and you can kind of see right in the middle they have a get off point where you can go to that island and so this is the name of the island because I certainly <laughs> want to try to pronounce that Margit Ziggit Margit Ziggit that's the island and you can see the bridge here it's called Margit HID I don't know what HID I, maybe that just stands for bridge but Margit Island and Margit Bridge we're just doing the bridge today because there's quite a bit to see on the island and so we're gonna walk across that whole thing and I'll film it and kind of give you a glimpse of the island and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, see you in a minute, bye-bye. All right, now we get a little bit closer to that bridge and you can see it. Margit Bridge. <laughs> Connected to the island. And on the island, I saw that there was like a Japanese garden and a rose garden and all sorts of different things. And so I'll save that for a full day. But uh, I got to figure out how to get on the bridge and walk across. I see people walking across it. So I know it's possible versus the chain bridge, which is closed. But uh, all right. Well, let's get a little closer. Okay, everybody. Bye bye. Okay, so getting to Mar Margit Bridge, Margit Bridge, um, it's really kind of cute. There's this little park, which is kind of cute. Right before it, you can still see the bridge right here, but it's got this statue um, and this bridge right in the middle, which is kind of kind of amazing. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's go over it. If we can, uh, it looks like it could be really slippery. And I don't know who you are. Is there a name around here? I don't see a name. Um, no clue. Okay, well, at least we came over the bridge. <laughs> or over that bridge. Now we're going to the big bridge. And I think that's going to be right here. Look at those doors. Those are amazing. A little tunnel. And what does this say here? Um, okay, no idea. So I think most people don't cross this bridge by walking. I think they probably all take a bus or a tram or a train or a something other than uh, walking, but we're gonna walk it. And that's right, I said we're. That's you and me. I wonder how long this bridge is. Well, we'll see how long it takes us to cross. And there's the views. And the dragon lights, that's kind of cool. And that's the way probably most pedestrians cross this bridge. And if I look right, you can see the island over here. And bicyclists. And the Danube River. And there's the Parliament building over here. And there's St. Matthew's Church, the Fisherman's Wharf, or the Fisherman's Bastion, Buddha Castle. It's really a nice big bridge. It looks like more people are walking on the right side than the left side, but I don't know if there's rules. I'll get to the center and I'll show you the 
Danube River again. I'm walking pretty quick, but it's still going to take us a good seven, eight minutes probably. You know, a lot of river cruises come through here. I know my mom and my aunt did one down this river um, at one point. Um, wow, it's a pretty big river. Now I noticed something. You see right here this little white pillar? You see the crown hanging out there on the side? See the little crown? But I noticed that all the crosses on top are bent. You see how it's bent to the right? I wonder why they'd bend them to the right. Or uh, actually if you were facing the front it would be the left, right? <laughs> left, right, okay. Don't confuse us here. Life is hard enough without us being confused. That water's pretty cold. It's only about uh, 40 degrees right now. More dragons. And that's the way to the island from here. So I gotta remember when I go. Okay, so now look at this crown. See how it's bent to the left? Interesting. Okay. Well, this is the center point. And that's Gellert Hill, way, way, way over there with the flag up on top. But I think it's closed every time I check. And I don't know if it's closed on, you know, for rebuilding purposes or just closed all the time or, but I'm trying to get to, I can get to the top of it. You can climb the hill anytime you want. The problem is going into the fortress that's up there. I'll let this guy get past me. And here comes my favorite animal. I'm not a bird fan. Yeah, the the Parliament building really is quite amazing. Yeah, very cool. Man, this whole road shakes when that thing goes over. More bikers. And they have a lot of these little boats around here too. Oh, that one's an actual hotel. That's kind of interesting. But they have a lot of like river cruises and dinners and those types of things. Um, which is kind of cool. And that's the other side that you, you probably don't ever get to. I, I don't know what's on that side of the, of the bridge besides that island. I mean, besides houses and people just living. But I think most things are between Gellert Hill and this bridge. Most tourist attractions, I should say. Wow. Man, that Parliament building is just amazing. It's just so huge. I can't wait to go inside. Okay, everybody. Well, this almost does it for Margit Bridge. Margit? Margit? 
in Budapest, Hungary. Looks like the sun's trying to come through up there. And that's the parliament building. Tell me that's not fantastic. Wow, wow. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna have to get a train, bus, tram, ticket or something, but neither here nor there. Is this a lookout point? Yeah, okay. Fantastic, huh? Okay, everybody, this is it for Margit Bridge. Thanks for coming. Bye.